Hello everyone, it's Melanie Ham here and today is Pi Day, which is March 14th, so I thought it would be fun to show you really quickly how to hand embroider a slice of pie. Now this is really easy, anyone can do it, and you just need very minimal supplies, which is what I love about hand embroidery. So you want a water-soluble pen, some embroidery needles, an embroidery hoop, and some fabric. I am going to be using my Aura Floss, which is our Fill Thread Floss, which is a six strand floss, so you can divide it if you want to. I also used Pearl Cotton, and this is DMC uh, Floss, so this is, you know, one you get standard at the craft store, and this is Pearl Cotton, and this does not split, so this thread just stays one thread and it has a little bit different look to it so I will show you the difference between the two. This one is made with pearl cotton. You can see it has like a little bit different look. So now you want to make your pie drawing. You notice here that on my drawing you have the base of the pie slice is a parallelogram so you want the top and bottom lines to be parallel and then the um, side lines to be parallel and then you can go ahead and make your pie. I don't mind if you guys you know just take a screenshot and trace my pie slice. Um, you can use a pie photo for reference or trace another photo that you find online but if you are going to sell any of the items that you make um, you want to source your own photos. So now you want to take your fabric and with your drawing on it with your water soluble pen and put it onto your embroidery hoop. Just be real gentle. The fabric does not need to be um, stretched super tight. Just put it on there nice and firmly. And now I'm going to start stitching with my Aura Floss which is this cute yellow color. I recommend you know playing around with different types of thread and seeing what you like best. I just liked this color so I went with this one for now. Now to start with you need a knot on one end of your thread and about an 18 inch piece is good to start with. You can see here how it splits. I'm going to keep all the strands together for this project but you can also split it if you want a finer look. Create a small loop in between your fingers and put put that loop in your embroidery needle. It helps thread it a little bit easier. Now in your first spot, you're gonna draw your thread up from the bottom and then the knot will catch on the back. And now we're gonna do a simple back stitch. Now you want to be about a kernel of rice away from where you drew up. And then insert your needle into your fabric and then back up again about another rice kernel away. This way we are working completely from the front of our fabric and it goes a little bit quicker, a little bit more efficient, and um, you get a little bit better result this way. I'll show you another method here in a minute, but this is what the main way you do backstitching is. It starts working up really, really quickly. You get a nice result and um, anyone can do it. It's super easy. So you're going to continue backstitching and this is the way that I did the long straight um, stretches of the pie. You can see here, draw it up. And again, about a kernel of rice is how large you want your stitches to be. You can see how it's looking. Make it as uniform as you can, but you know what, have fun with it and don't worry about it being perfect. This is handmade and so little imperfections are what make it charming. It's been a while since I did an embroidery video for you guys, so I will link the other ones that I have in the description box below. And if you like this, be sure to leave a comment and let me know maybe some other hand embroidery you would like to see. So go all the way around until you are done with your strand of thread, and then you can insert your needle, and then we're gonna work from the backside to finish it off. So here it is. Turn your work over. And then what we're gonna do is make a small knot and then weave in the end of our thread. So you can see here, I'm inserting the needle and we're gonna create a small loop. And then you insert the needle in the small loop in order to create a small knot, very you know inconspicuous. Um, and then you, we will weave in the tails and that's how you finish off your hand embroidery. You can see here, he's drawing it through that loop. My tail is a little bit short, so maybe leave your tail a little bit longer than I did on this one. Trim your threads, and then we're ready to start again. 
Now when you have curvy lines on your project, it's better to do smaller stitches so that you can make nice curves. Um, you know, if you have your stitches real large, then they're not going to be as curvy. So this method, I'm doing more of a stab stitching. I'm not just drawing it up from the front of the fabric. I'm going all the way down and then finding where I'm going to insert the, the thread going up and then coming back up. That way it can kind of create that curvy line a little bit better but it's still a back stitch. So now I'm showing you here how you can move your fabric around. Don't worry about it getting um, the thread in there. Just be careful when you're doing it and uh, it's meant for that, so don't worry. Now I am finishing off here. We're just doing a back stitch the entire time on this project. So you can just continue like we did before. Uh, working from the front side and now I'm just continuing my little whipped cream here I made pink and this is um, DMC floss all six strands for the whipped cream I'm going to show you here again how to finish off here's a few little refresher on the back stitch finish it off here sometimes it's easier at the last stitch to just do the stab stitch um, to make sure that you have it right in the right spot and then we're going to flip it over and work from the back side and finish it off again. And then you are done. You can uh, frame these. You can put these on tea towels or on little handkerchiefs or um, you can use this method on paper and not even use it on fabric. Uh, there's lots and lots of different ways that you can utilize hand embroidery um, to make it. And it's so quick too. So. I hope that you guys enjoyed my uh, pie slice for pie day um, or just, you know, any other occasion too. Uh, these kind of things are so fun. Now, when you are done, you want to get rid of that blue marker, which is water soluble. So you just squirt a little bit of water from your iron, use your finger and rub that out. Make sure that it's, um, you know, sometimes it needs a little bit of work to get the marker completely out. So just, you know, keep an eye on it. And then when you're ironing, you want to be careful not to flatten down your stitches. So be really, really careful when you're ironing and, you know, get the biggest wrinkles out and then let the rest air dry. You can see here I'm just at the lightest touch. We are done. Happy Pi Day, everyone. Happy stitching. And thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up and share this with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.